I'm really looking forward to 2022 because of the great new design trends that will be seen throughout the year. Now that I've compiled a fantastic list of this year's most anticipated design trends, let's get right to it. The holographic components and the very holographic retro blend and style will be the first and most interesting of these. Now, with the whole NFT spaces or the whole meta was space, the whole future trends is basically now here. So having a really futuristic looking in UI design with a lot of neon components, backdrop elements or button styles that really fit the whole aesthetic of NFTs is a must. The entire aesthetic of cryptocurrencies as well as the entire concept of the metaverse is going to explode. Of course, this will only fit this whole concept of futuristic aspects or the whole concept of NFTs for the time being and the future is now. I'm really looking forward to seeing more instances like these. Storytelling through websites. We have seen storytelling in some form on a number of websites such as Apple's iPhone website and Samsung's website for its current phones. They attempt to tell a tale about the item or product through an engaging animation. Text appears on the screen moving from one point to the next, virtually producing a story-like experience. I really enjoy Zaddle's websites and Shmera for its narrative. I think this website is a great example of how storytelling can be combined with a whole lovely website design and you can see how things move about on the page and blend into other components. It gives you a story about the product and it highlights each feature in an engaging way. Not everything is static in this way and storytelling components and approaches will be used into website designs. If you look at gaming websites or a website dedicated to showcasing a game, you will see a lot of narrative components of the game plot being conveyed or anticipation being created for the game through a storytelling like website. I really like this idea and I'm hoping it takes off this year. Parallax plus storytelling. Now that I'm sure everyone is familiar with the parallax effect, storytelling is the major component that will eventually replace parallax scrolling. The parallax scroll will be combined with storytelling and this is how the parallax effect will be employed in the future. It's one of a kind or virtually insane experience. Typography. And when I say typography, I don't just mean a website with wild typography. Many designers around the world have shown style components or text floating around the screen. You may interact with the text or the text interact with you. And I appreciate the modern beauty of the font. Serif is making a resurgence whether it's in use with serif fonts or for display typefaces. And I'm excited about it. These stylish components do of course came at a cost. This isn't something that every website can have, especially if it's a data intensive website. Glassmorphism. What can we say? Some trends never go out of style. Glassmorphism isn't going anywhere. Glassmorphism was first seen in 2021, but it now appears to be much cleaner. It's nearly like the difference between material design and material design 2.0. In that not only is the glass effect more developed, but also a lot of 3D tools are employed instead of the traditional examples of Figma or XD. Many 3D tools such as the spline tool have made a significant mark in the design world, and as a result you can now create realistic glass effects for your UI designs. Aside from that, a lot of gradients are used in conjunction with glass morphism, so you will see a lot of gradient backdrops or even glass with a specific colored gradient, which looks pretty cool and adds a lot of zest to the already existing trends of glass. Data visualization is the next big thing now that we have seen a lot of apps giving a lot of unique data to consumers in 2021, including a lot of analytics, a lot of graphs, financial apps, making a huge splash and so on. What do all of these financial apps have in common? Well, graphs, data and numbers among other things, so if we need all of that, we will need good data visualization. So long press to expand a graph or a graph kind the flows along with your movement on screen or how much your scrolling can be combined with a bunch of animations, transitions as well as interactions and it will be the next big trend. Yes, many personal projects will have financial information and I like Clay Morphic Design. So Clay Morphic Design is the new new Morphic and we haven't seen many instances of it yet. Michael from the Hype for Academy exhibited a lot of claim of morphism as a lesson on claim offices which I will provide all the links to, but other form that I think he's brought out of 
a lot of things. Playing Morphism is really wonderful for UX as well, since it introduces features of more physical appearing buttons and integrates them with entire neomorphic design. It's almost as if neomorphism and skeomorphism had a kid, if that is how I were to explain it. 3D. How can we overlook 3D in the midst of all of these trends? Because of the accessibility of 3D technologies, 3D will have a major influence this year. How is 3D going to work? If you look at a tool like Spline, it's not only allowing people to run 3D software in their web browser, but it's also making it easier for people to design 3D elements. You can just pick up a template or pre-made design and create your own version of it. Because the tool is so simple to use and we're going to see a bunch of other tools like Spline Tool came out this year. As a result, it will open a whole new realm of 3D design.